All right, I'm on hole number 18, and I got here not the way that I like to get here, so I should be on track for a 26, and we've got a, uh, we're on track for a 25. Dropped hole number eight, bad, but it was able to recover on the back and learn something about that shot. All right, so let's go check out hole number 18. This is our final exam. Hey, hole number 18, I'm doing the layup shot and I know, I know, I know, I know that that shot going across the rocks that lots of people are having success, but I'm also seeing some people epic fail and the deal is I can't afford to have any epic fails on this hole. I want to lay it up, get up here with my big dog and get up and go, but I do have an Albi shot here. So if I can get myself the window with my big dog, I can definitely get up there and have a look at Albie. It's not a really good look, but it is a look. So here we go. Extra mile. Oh, I need a quarterback. I need a quarterback and a big dog. And that's all I need. Except for a five power ball. And I'm bringing a present ball. And I'm going to switch to a Berserker because where I'm at on the second shot, if I need the wind, having a little bit less wind resistance, and on the first shot, that two side spins helping. Let's check those clubs one more time. <laughs> I got freaked out the other day. I ended up in my low-level account on hole number three with the wrong clubs. Actually, 9, 10, 11, 12, hole number 12 with the wrong clubs. Had the right driver, so I went out there and was like, eh. No big dog in the bag. Guardian. A level one guardian. <laughs> Not good. Not the club he was looking for. I got up there. I almost, I almost recovered, but... Uh, not quite. Okay, see this rock right here that's sticking out? This rock right here? I've got it in my white, in the white ring. Five, one, and I'm going to add on 10%. That's five, five. There's five. I'm going to go at least 10. Put a little teeny bit of curl on it to bring it back into the fairway. Isn't it perfect? And I'm a little short of where I need to be. That's why I, I was a little short the last time I was here because I was playing that shot pretty conservative and I had to use the wind to push me back into the fairway. So with the Berserker ball, I'll have a little bit more wind. So if I'm in that same spot and have to use the wind to push me forward, my opponent's doing the rock shot. And I see people do this with a bunch of different balls and different uh, overpower. Some of them aren't doing any overpower or very little, and some of them are doing max. He'll have a very nice shot from out there. Very nice. All right, I have a little teeny window. That's all I need. It's five. Top spin. Max side spin. Get right out into that area right there. I'm going to take out, I'm only going to take out one of the wind. I'm going to leave two of it in. I'm just going to hit it straight forward. Hitting it perfect.
and it drifts when it goes down that hill. <laughs> Just outside the cup. It drops it drops from the left to the right as it goes down that hill. And, it, and I, there was actually one of the shots in my low level account, either on the front on nine or on 18, it came in, it showed the video angle where it came in like that. And you could see how much it was falling down this hill as it was rolling down the hill. It was, it was drifting off to the right. And that shot right there gets you really close. And I would definitely not pinch myself like this because the thing is, is that the big dog has tons of curl. So bring that sucker back up the hill until you're clear out into the fairway. Ride that red line until you got two rings. And they're right by the cup. All right, that was a close, close shot. Close. Eagle. I passed my final exam. And I ended up one up. So that'll give me good tiebreakers going into the weekend round. What it won't do for me is give me good stuff in the clan tournament. Because this is my normal MO is I usually am still on the 24 track coming in, just like working the holes out and trying to put it all together come weekend round. And in the clan tournament with all of the rounds counting, it's uh, definitely dropping that shot on hole number eight. Definitely did not do me any favors. Because <laughs> I think uh, Eco came in with a minus 27. Minus 27. <laughs> that is smoking it out. All right. Minus 25. Let's post it. Posted. Let's go check out and see what the people in the clan did. I haven't really looked. I know that we have a ton of people that... I think we only have a few people that didn't make the opener. So let's go through and see where we're at. 23. Excellent. They're still playing. 21. I think anything 20 or higher is probably going to make it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the cutoffs, where the bottom cutoffs are. But uh, I think if you shoot a 20 or better and you don't make it, that that'll, I would be surprised. Smackaho did not make it. Missed the cut. Minus 25. Minus 22. Minus 24. Excellent job. Beat. Beat. SD 59. Let's see what Kyle did. Minus 24. Fantastic job, Kyle. Mike's got to play. Anuk Zun. Minus 22. Excellent. Hole number 17, hole number 8. Yep, you're, I'm, I feel your pain there. Where was the other hole? Hole number 3. Hole number 3 is uh, got to have a 5 power ball. I mean, in my opinion, you really have to have a 5 power ball. You can get it done with a 4 power ball. It just depends on the clubs that you have in your bag, what you can get it done with. But a 5 power ball with any clubs changes the, the deal. Eco. Look at this score, folks. That is awesome. <laughs> and this is exactly what I'm talking about, going in there and standardizing hole number eight. You shoot the minimum score, minimum score, picked up eight. Minimum score, picked up the hole in one. That one extra shot changes you from the minus 26, which is, in my opinion, really a banner, a banner number just by picking up eight. And the minimum score, you got a banner. And if you can pick up any one of those other shots and pop yourself above 26, you're definitely looking at, you know, when, I mean, that could, that, if that doesn't win, then somebody beat you. <laughs> 
I mean, that's that's going to be up there towards the top. You're going to have a serious shot at a gold banner with anything better than a 26. And this is all that it takes is shooting the minimum score of minus 24 and standardizing one hole and giving yourself a shot on everything else to pick up that one shot. That's all it takes is one shot in that round. So when you look at the round and you think, wow, that was an awesome round, it's three shots here made this an awesome round. And this shot right here is what made this a winning round, that, that hole in one right there. So when we're looking at these holes and trying to uh, dial them in, this is why when we find a hole like hole number eight that we can dial in to really increase our odds of getting eagle, we have to really, we have got to get that eagle on that hole. Awesome job, Eco. Jake Easy, minus 24. <laughs> Jake edged me out last season and ended up with the silver in the clan tournament and uh knocked me out of knocked me out of the silver contention in the last in the last day. Awesome job, Jake. Minus 19. Still playing, still playing. Jamie's playing. Let's see where he's at after. It's tough and expert. Yeah, I mean the thing about expert is you have to practice because you can't, it is tough. <laughs> Eddie, 18, triple A, where people having problems. Hole number nine, hole number three. Hole number three will be a, a big deal. Top cap, minus 22. Hole number five, hole number three. Hole number three on the front, hole number 11. Picked up that Albi though. That's a huge Albi. Good job, Keith. You had to do the same thing I had to do. You had to scramble. You had a problem. But that Albi right there, buddy, that is going to be a huge tiebreaker. That is fantastic. Huge. Scooby, minus 21. Good job, Scoob. Minus 20. That was a great round. I mean, it had some, you had those problems on the back nine, but, but there was a lot of holes that were picked up here. Good job, Kyle. I mean, that end result is not what you're looking for, but that end, but picking up those shots and getting, getting those in there, put that together in the weekend round. That's, that's awesome stuff. Minus 25. Excellent job, Flip. Where'd you pick yours up? Straight up perfect minus 24 round. And he picked up 17. Picked up that eagle. That's the deal. All right. Pa, where are you at? I see that low. Uh, I can't get that low on the deal to see what your score is. <laughs> we have a ton of people that have qualified and for the opening round. So it'll be curious. We have a lot of people here that are going to make the weekend round. We have 49 people in the clan to start off with. And there's a lot of people playing. So this it's going to be super tight. You can see what from the scores that you got to be on it to be up towards the top. So we have two tournaments going on at the same time, the clan tournament and the regular tournament. My shot in the clan tournament is diminished because of the round that I just had. But uh, I'm still on track for the weekend round and can't wait. And I will see you there. Thanks for watching.